because I'm going to be playing with it for two or three rounds, sticking him and sticking him. Use that long left jab, sticking him and sticking him left, right, left, hook, ducking. He's going to be ducking all into my budget. And I'm just going to dance and move. And in my glory, I'm going to be in my glory, hoping Joe Frazier. And then I'm going to stick him and he's going to fall. And if you want to know what round he'll fall, you get your ticket. I don't, I don't just, I don't think that there's no heavyweight alive who could, who couldn't beat me. I know there are none alive. And I, when I say greatest, I mean only boxers. See, in the Islamic religion, we have a saying, Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar means God is the greatest. So I'm not God. I'm just the greatest in the sport of boxing. Muhammad, in the book, you come over as a deep thinker not simply a boxer. Is that how you'd like to be remembered? That's a good question. Uh, I am a deep thinker, but I don't think deep at various press conferences promoting fights. You have to think small in order to reach the average people. So I gave the people what they wanted. This is no jive. He shall fall in five. He will fall in five. If he don't fall, I'll leave the country. They buy tickets and line up for miles. Is he going to fall in five? Well, he, see, man desires to understand that which he cannot understand. First, he wanted to know what was on the moon. He spent $10, 15000000000 billion for two rocks. Now, he don't want to know what's on the moon no more. Now, he want to know what's on Mars. <laughs>